me! Mosquitoes! The way we treat for mosquitoes has been the same for a long time. Applying a product to kill the mosquitoes in the areas which they land to rest has garnered good results for many years, and it still does. Uh, but it's not without its problems. Enter the Into Care Mosquito Station. Most people think that the problem is rain. The reality is that the sun is the biggest factor that deteriorates mosquito products through UV light. Most pesticides are photosensitive. That means they're affected by the sun. It deteriorates them. Rain can move the product away from the treated area, but we can't control the rain or the sun. This leaves us with a problem. The products we apply do work. The challenge is keeping them working. My backpack mister, whom I dubbed Mr. Mister, has a support plate made of plastic. Before we got the enclosed vans, these misters lived in the bed of the bug truck, constantly exposed to the rain and the sun. And after a couple years, I had to replace one of those units because that back plate was so brittle it would crumble if you touched it, all due to the sun and the rain, mostly the sun. The same thing happens to pesticides when we put them out. So don't feed me this line about pesticides in the soil for thousands of years. It's bull. Um, max residual of most professional products is three months. So that little can of Raid that says it works for a year is full of malarkey. I like that word, malarkey. By now, I hope everyone understands that standing water is a huge factor when it comes to mosquitoes, especially here in Maryville, Alcoa, Knoxville, surrounding areas. We like to store things outside like construction materials, tires, and uh, equipment instead of being wasteful and throwing them away. Because of our climate here in East Tennessee, we also have lots and lots of flowers, plants, and trees. Uh, water is part of sustaining just about any kind of life whether the trees are shading an area causing it to hold water or the racing tire store behind the garage are holding water, they both can cause mosquitoes. Mosquitoes need water, usually dirty and steel water, depending on the species, in order to lay their eggs. After a while, those eggs hatch, they pupate, and become adult mosquitoes. So the more water problems you have, the more mosquitoes problems you could have. This standing water could be a million different places, including your clogged gutters or just low places in the yard. In order to fix something, you have to get the source of the problem. And herein lies the problem with the way we do mosquito reduction. Standing water, where the problem is, cannot be treated with traditional products. And there are some things that you can put in the water, but how are you going to find all those locations? You can't. Even then, some of them will be off property and we can't do anything about it even if we knew where they were. Enter the Into Care mosquito system. The Into Care station is basically a bucket of water that by color, design, and odor attracts the female mosquito to lay eggs in the water. There's material on the mesh and in the water that prevents the eggs from pupating into grown adults. Those are the ones that bite you. Uh, the females are the only ones that bite you, by the way. The female mosquito gets the material on her from the mesh and transfers that to those other water areas that you can't find or weren't even on your the property. She contaminates those and even the eggs laid there by other mosquitoes will also die. That's getting at the source. The active ingredient in the Intucare station is non-toxic to birds and mammals. Uh, they say on their website, quote, we make use of biological fungus that is only toxic to insects. The larvicide deployed in the trap specifically targets mosquito larva and is not toxic to higher organisms in this low concentration. For example, in other products, this larvicide has even been approved by the World Health Organization for use in drinking water. I wouldn't trust that, but that kind of gives you an idea how safe they consider it. 
Uh, contaminated females will only spread tiny amounts of the larvicide, uh, a few micrograms, to other artificial small water bodies, which limits any risk for other aquatic organisms and fish, end quote. So basically, in order for us to use the Intercare system, we have to get yet another certification. This ensures you that we know what we're doing and can do it safely. Even though a traditional mosquito treatment can be done safely, this new biological treatment is even safer. The one downside is it doesn't do a thing for mosquitoes looking for a blood meal. But the female mosquito needs that blood meal to lay eggs so she will eventually visit the station. That means this treatment is a slow burn compared to the traditional treatment where you can see results immediately. However, the Intercare system is going to give the best results over time. As you can imagine, combining the two methods will give you the ultimate mosquito protection available since they deal with the problem from different angles. It's the one-two punch to bring your backyard barbecue back to sanity. Hey, you wanna punch me? Mosquitoes! But I love to kill him. You're killing me, Smalls! So, I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way.